Hi boys and girls, so today I will be talking to you about multiplication and division in word problems. Okay, so let's turn to page 52 of your workbook. Now, let's read the question. Each story in a building has a height of 3 meters. The building has 8 stories. What is the total height of the eight stories? Okay, so remember our G, E, T. G stands for group, how many in each group, and the total. So we know that each story in a building has a height of three meters. So our each is three. Okay, our each is three. And the building has eight stories. Eight stories, that means there's eight times of the three meter height. So eight is actually the group. So we know that there are each three meters in each side and there's eight stories, but we don't know what's the total. So what's the total? We are unsure. Okay? So, to find out the total, we do a multiplication. So, we need to multiply 8 by 3. Therefore, 8 times 3 gives you 24. So, the total height of the story is 24 meters tall. The next question. A piece of string has a length of 70 centimeters. The string is cut into 10 pieces of equal length. How long is each piece of string? Okay, so we know that the string has a length of 70 centimeters in total. So again, we write down our G, E, T. Okay? So 70 is our total. So I already have my total. And the string is cut into 10 pieces. 10 pieces, that means there's 10 different, different types of pieces, but they are of the same length. So this 10 is actually your group. Now they want you to know, find out how many, how long is each piece of string so this is E, that means we are not too sure of what each is. So we know the total, we know one part of the group. To find out how many are there in each, we do a division. Okay, so for division, 70 divided by 10, which gives you 7. Therefore, each piece of string is 7 centimeters long. Now, we move on to page 54. Okay, a box has a height of 10 centimeters. What is the height of three such boxes stacked on top of one another? Okay, so the box has a height of 10 centimeters. What is the height of three such boxes stacked on top of one another? By the meaning of stack, that means I put one box. This box has a height of 10 centimeters. That means I stack okay, three boxes together. So I, I have 10 cm and 10 centimeters. This is what the question is actually referring to. Okay, so again, if we take out our G, E, T, we can identify already. Okay, each box has a box has a height of 10 centimeters. So each box is 10 centimeters. So E is 10, and the height of three such boxes, that means 
there are three groups of it, so we need to find the total. To find the total, we do a multiplication of 3 times 10, which gives you 30. The height of three such boxes is 30 centimetres. Okay. A block of flats has a height of 27 metres. Each floor on the block has a height of 3 metres. How many floors are there in the block? in the blocks of flats. Okay, so then we start with our G, E, T. So let's identify. A block of flats has a height of 27 meters. So this represents the total. Okay, 27. Each floor has a height of 3 meters. That means each floor is 3 meters tall. So I know my E is now, how many floors are there in the block of flats? So, we need to find out how many floors that represents the group. Okay, so if you have the E and you have the total, once you know you have the total, we need to divide. So, 27. Sorry. In. So, 27 divided by 3, which gives you 9. So there are 9 floors in each block of flats, in the block of flats. Last question. Peter uses toothpicks to make 3 triangles. Each toothpick is 5 cm long. What is the total length of all the toothpicks? Okay, so we know that Peter used toothpicks to make three triangles. Now, each toothpick is five centimeters. This one, we need to take a look at the picture itself. Okay, because one triangle, you notice there are three toothpicks. Okay, one two, three. So you need three toothpicks to make one triangle. And we know that each toothpick has the length of five centimeters. Okay, so what is the total length of toothpicks? Okay, so using our G, E, T. Okay, so we need to find out how many groups are there first. Okay, each toothpick. So we find out one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there are nine toothpicks. So for groups, we write down, we know there are nine of them. Now each toothpick has a length of five centimeters. So we write down five next to E and to find, we need to find the total, the total length of all the toothpicks. So that's how we know we need to multiply. So, 9 multiplied by 5, which gives you 45. The total length of all toothpicks is 45 centimeters.